Hello, my name is Brandon Judson, and I'm a member of Textron Aviation Customer Service Engineering Team Structures. On occasion, customer service is asked to assist with helping technicians in the field recover a 560XL that has been windblown, taxied, crashed, or suffered a gear-up landing resulting in the aircraft being temporarily incapacitated. Emergency lifting is a procedure designed to lift the aircraft from an abnormal position while minimizing any further damage to the airframe. It is to be noted that all circumstances and conditions vary depending on the specific incident, but these general rules may be applied for lifting and slinging the aircraft. This video is to be used as additional reference material only and is not to be used as a substitute for reading and understanding the procedures presented in the most current published maintenance manuals. The maintenance manual authorizes lifting an aircraft using the pneumatic bag lifting method as outlined in Chapter 7-10-02. This is the preferred method when circumstances allow, but in some cases where the landing gear or aircraft is too damaged in an abnormal situation or pneumatic bags are not available, it may be necessary to lift the aircraft using a crane in conjunction with the spreader bars and straps. The method of emergency lifting used should be the method which is available or will be less damaging to the aircraft. This video will focus primarily on the lifting of a 560XL using a crane or cranes, spreader bars and straps in order to place the aircraft in a position to set it on jacks, on the gear or on a dolly or other transport vehicle. Warning. Failure to observe applicable safety precautions can result in injury to personnel and or damage to the aircraft. If airbags are not available or conditions limit the use of airbags, lift the aircraft as follows. First defuel the aircraft and remove as much loose baggage and equipment as practical to reduce the weight of the aircraft. A suitable crane or cranes with lifting straps may be used as follows. Obtain approximately 4 to 6 inch wide nylon lifting straps rated to hold a weight of at least 10,000 pounds or higher. Position the forward strap at the forward pressure bulkhead, preferred, or at either the forward or the aft frame of the main cabin door. If the frame aft of the main cabin door is utilized, take special care in the placement and retention of the sling so as to not damage the forward belly fairing. Remove cowlings to gain access to the forward engine mounts. The aft straps can be secured around the upper bolt isolator of the forward engine mounts and should be separated by a spreader bar if at all possible. When the forward and aft slings are in location, it is preferred a fuselage sling assembly be utilized if possible. If a fuselage sling assembly is not available, lifting can still be accomplished without the fuselage sling assembly but should be accomplished using multiple cranes. Attach stabilization ropes to the wingtips, tails, and nose section of the airplane. Lift the aircraft slowly and evenly while utilizing the stabilization ropes. Two cranes may be utilized if a spreader bar cannot be used to separate the forward and aft straps. Make sure that the load on the straps is vertical and not pulling forward or aft on the strap which could cause the straps to move on the aircraft. Once the aircraft is lifted, if conditions are applicable, secure the aircraft on the landing gear or on jacks. Refer to Chapter 32 in the Maintenance Manual for details. If the gear cannot support the aircraft, lower the aircraft onto a suitable transportation vehicle. Old tires or other soft materials should be placed between the aircraft and the vehicle to limit further damage to the airframe. Remove spreader bars, slings, and other lifting equipment. Transport aircraft as smoothly as possible to prevent any additional damage. Please note, the methods of emergency lifting described in the maintenance manual and in this video do not necessarily limit emergency procedures. Approved alternate methods may be used when emergency conditions warrant such action. For assistance and support regarding this subject, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for your time.